Hi guys, I'm back with another review. Last time I was at Walmart, I found something new. Skinny Cow Protein Ice Cream. Almost 20 years ago, when I first started on my weight loss journey that I originally lost my 100 pounds with, Skinny Cow had another kind of ice cream. No, not the sandwiches that you've seen for the last 20 years. They had ice cream that was in half gallons, and I loved it. The peanut butter cookie was my favorite. They also had a really good strawberry cheesecake one back then. And I would travel to this store that was far away from me. It was in almost upstate New York. I think it was in the Bronx, but it was called Stu Leonard's. And they were the only place around New York where I lived that sold it. I traveled to get it all the time. I loved it. And then they all of a sudden it just went off the shelves. And all you ever seen anymore after that was the ice cream sandwiches by Skinny Cow. So I was super duper excited when I found this. Now this is high protein. And I forgot to scan it. I meant to scan it before I started. But I forgot to scan it. But it's, it's about the same point as um, Halo Top Enlight and Enlightened when I scanned it at the store. I think it's three or four points for one um, serving and then like seven points for two servings at once. And again, I'm having problems with it going in and out, in and out. And I think it's my fan, but I can't turn off my fan because the kids broke the cord off of it. They won't leave it alone, no matter how much I begged them to. So anyway... I opened it already because I, the only thing is this does not give any instructions on letting it um, soften. There is, I read everything on it. I even went to the website to see if I could find any instructions on getting it, you know, how long to soften it or even if it, if it suggested to soften it. But there was no suggestions of softening it. So straight out of the freezer, I took off the little, um, it's like a plastic um, cover underneath the cap and um, it was super hard so I figured out myself just from the other protein ice creams I've had that it was probably best to let it soften meanwhile I was uploading a different video so it's been I think about 20 to 30 minutes since I've been um, letting it soften and I should have checked it but it is, it's pretty soft at this point now, they had several flavors, but this one is the O-Fudge Cookie. It's 370 calories if you eat the entire pint. Or it is, um, okay, this is three and a half servings per pint versus most of them are um, four servings per pint. Anyway, this one's three and a half servings, and it says for a half a cup, it's 100 calories. So for half of, um, so anyway, a half cup is a 100 calories of this. So this must be slightly less than some of the other, than like the Halo Top. Must be slightly less um, amount. But I'm going to let my, and this is the um, O-Fudge Cookie flavor. Now me and my daughter is going to try it. There is little cookie bits and fudge swirls in it. Oh my, this is really good. The ice cream base, the vanilla, has very good vanilla flavor. Very good vanilla flavor. I can definitely taste, I can taste fuzz, fudge in it. Really good. The fudge is good. The cookies are good. This so far of the protein ice creams has, is the definite best cookies and cream I've had. I've had a lot of, I've had um, Enlightened's Cookies and Cream, Halo Tops Cookies and Cream, and Arctic Zero's Cookies and Cream. I did not like Halo Tops Cookies and Cream whatsoever. It had a really odd, weird flavor, and the texture was of soggy cookies. It was, ugh, I did not like it. Next, the Arctic Zero, it was okay. It's not bad. There was no chunks in it, but it did have an Oreo flavor. But there was no chunks. It was just a smooth ice cream. But it, well, it was more like ice, like ice milk or 
and icy. If you're from the East Coast and you've ever been to like Rita's or Ralph's, it's like a water ice is what they call it on the East Coast. That's what Arctic Zero was like more than like a milk ice. It was more of a water ice. But it was still good. It was good. And then the Enlightened was definitely, of those three, the best of cookies and cream. But now it's this one. Oh my goodness. This is so yummy. Definitely tastes just like regular cookies and cream. It has almost a Briar's flavor to it of the vanilla. And it tastes like real cookies and cream. It does not taste like a diet or a low carb cookies and cream. It, it really hit the mark. This one so far, the best cookies and cream protein ice cream I've had. There is no protein aftertaste. And I did let it soften for probably closer to 30 minutes, but it may have been fine at 15 to 20 minutes. This is my first time having the Skinny Cow High Protein Ice Cream. And like I said, there was no instructions whatsoever on letting it, letting it soften or how long to let it soften. But there was none that to even say to let it soften. But I can tell you, when I ripped back this little cover, I knew by the look of it, from my previous experience with all the other protein ice creams that it definitely needed to soften or it was just going to probably be a big mess to eat and you know almost impossible because pro the protein freezes so hard you can't break it with a spoon you can't scrape it up or anything that's why a lot of people think they don't like the high protein ice cream because they try to eat it straight from the freezer and you can't do that it has no antifreeze in it most other ice creams you buy at the store that are not the high protein have antifreeze in it not healthy ingredient by the way and that makes it where it stays soft enough to eat even in the freezer but this does not have antifreeze in it either does the other high protein ice creams and so it dry it freezes super super hard so you have to let it soften out of the freezer for a little bit to actually get any but and it definitely helps give you a much creamier texture if you let it soften. But anyway, I did not even try. By the looks of it, I could tell it was hard as a rock, and I like clinked it with my spoon, and it was clink, 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 and so it was hard as a rock. So I was doing other stuff, and and I let it soften, like I said, probably close to thirty minutes. But I'm thinking you could probably I, next time I might try just fifteen minutes and see how that goes. But if you've tried it before and you have a certain specific amount of time that you like to let it soften, hit me up down below and let me know how long you let it soften and how it, it came out for you. I'm going to try some other flavors though too. I definitely want to try the peanut butter because like I said previously when they just made low um, calorie ice cream and it used to be high fiber too because that was back in the day where fiber was all the rage and not so much on the protein. It was very high fiber skinny cow ice cream. Peanut butter was definitely my favorite. I hope they come out with a strawberry cheesecake though again too because that strawberry cheesecake was pretty good back then too. But the peanut butter cookie was far and above my favorite one of any of the ice creams that was out at that time. At that time, there was Weight Watchers ice cream, uh, Edie's or Dryer's, whichever place you live at, it's a different, it's the same company but they call themselves by two different names. They have both just came out with um, the double churned or slow churned ice cream that was lower calorie. And there was um, put, no pudge ice cream and the skinny cow. Those were the, the um, choices back about 20 years ago when I first started this weight loss journey and lost 100 pounds. And out of all of those, I like the skinny cow the best. That's why I would travel all the way up into almost upstate but it was the Bronx and I lived in Queens I travel all that way just to go get the skinny cow ice cream because that was the Stu Leonard's grocery store was the only one that sold the skinny cow by me in the Queens I could get in Queens I could get Weight Watchers I could even get the no pudge bars which I do miss the no pudge bars those were really super good they still sell no pudge brownies but not the no pudge ice cream anymore they were delicious and I could of course get the Edie's ice cream it was Edie's on the east coast I think it's Dryer's on the west coast but anyway, um, the skinny cow was my favorite. So when I seen this in the store the other day, I was just so excited. And so then um, I went ahead and scanned it to see what it would come out. And like I said, it's about the same as Halo Top or Enlightened. Um, 
or the um, chunky or milk versions of Arctic Zero are also about this. The icy water versions of, of Arctic Zero are, of course, a lot lower points than all these others. But anyway, so I would buy this again, and I would recommend trying it if you love ice cream and if you really like cookies and cream and all the others have not tasted like, tasted like real cookies and cream to you. Go out and try this. <music>